Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker here for Pencil Crayon Talk. We're going to be using the Derwent Light Fast. I only have a little 12 pack here. And as you can see, they have like a nice little, like, I'd say a nice variety of colors. I think it's what you more or less need. Um, and since, of course, uh, this is being posted in November, best thing to do is celebrate Karnov Vember. I drew Karnov from Fighter's History. Karnov the game and uh, Karnov's Revenge. So yeah, let's have a look at these pencil crowns and let's get to it. So let's first talk about these pencil crowns. Um, this is, I'm going to say my second time using them. I didn't really use them seriously. I just, um, funny enough, the uh, rough sketch I did of my first video, Morgan, I then ended up like practicing and coloring in with these because it was the only image I had at the time to try out blending and stuff. And they do have a similar feel to the Polychromos, which I actually quite like. Um, the colors that are included are more portraity, which I mean, I'm not surprised because, you know, most people that would like want a light fast thing probably did a lot of portrait stuff, right? And uh, yeah, so I'm using, of course, the, um, the uh, pencil crown paper um, because got to have everything on even ground. That's the rule. And of course, you know, it's Karnov Vember. So let's start off November with Karnov, shall we? Uh, for those who don't know and don't know me, <laughs> uh, basically, I love fighting games. I probably say that a lot. And um, Fighter's History and also Karnov's Revenge are two of like my some of my favorite fighting games. And as well, I love the uh, NES game, Karnov. <laughs> So this is like uh, based off of the Karnov's Revenge um, intro and I uh, used it for a bit for reference for like his face and that but then I added like you know him having his fist up. The point was there but I did the whole hand and uh, yeah I just wanted to use it for like practicing the coloring and the shading because you know I want to use the light fast, use them fairly and see what we can do with them. Um, I'm honestly, it was a breeze just working on these. I just uh, had, I believe I had robot co-op stream going. And then I turned on, um, I believe I just turned on a movie. And I was watching Voyage of the Rock Aliens while doing this. And, oh my god, that movie's great. I don't, I, it's, it's a cult movie. Like, cult classic type movie. It is, the soundtrack is a banger. Like, it's so good. <laughs> They, uh, basically, the plot of it, I'm going to do it as roughly as possible, is about aliens that are looking, like, for, like, a planet to, uh, check out with life on it, and they learned how to act like humans from, um, new wave music videos. <laughs> and then the, the soundtrack's just really good. It's, like, combination of some, like, you know... I'm going to say, like, uh, because around the 80s, that's when the nostalgia for, like, 1960s rockabilly type stuff was also happening. So, it does have, like, a mix of that. It has a mix of new wave, and it's just really good. And it's so 80s. It hurts. I highly recommend it. It is free on Tubi. I will always point that out. It is free on Tubi. <laughs> so, do check it out if you have a chance. It's a fun romp. Um, I guess the only one who really stars in it is Pia Zadora, and she played, like, the little kid in Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, for those who watch Rift Tracks at Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> and, huh, let me think, let me think. Uh, I mean, Jermaine Jackson's in the, uh, beginning of the movie, where there was a music video, and then it just went on to some other plot instead. <laughs> So I'm moving on to his arm, and as you can see, we got even, like, I'm just building the colors and such. Because, you know, these blend well. They're nice. I like them. Uh, they do keep uh, their point in that very well. Um, I believe I only had one breakage throughout this whole thing. And that's impressive on its own, because... Uh, <laughs> Prisma colors are great because they are that nice, soft, velvety goodness. But, ooh, if you get a bad piece of lead, it's frustrating. <laughs> so, I, I, again, though, I think I learned coloring with uh, pencil crayons more from, like, harder leads than uh, the softer ones. So, I probably have a really heavy hand for it. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. These are good. These are good. I wish I had a bigger set, but they are, because they're light fast, they're also pretty pricey. Um, I just was lucky because there was a back to school sale on and uh, they're at a price where I'm like, ah, I can live with that. <laughs> Imagine you, though, if you're from, like, uh, Great Britain, these won't cost that much because they're made in Great Britain, so you don't have to worry about taxes and stuff. So that's a big thumbs up for y'all. But I gotta say, though, overall, though, excellent pencils. Now, of course, I'm just sitting here like, oh, what else can I talk about? Because I just go on coloring and enjoying myself throughout this video. Just, you know, vibing. <laughs> Um, you know what? You know what? Let's discuss, um, well, since it's November and we're heading into the holiday season with Christmas, um, let's talk about that, you know? Why not? Why not? Uh, for those who are in North America, I know, because I know not all countries celebrate it, uh, Christmas is coming up around the corner. Now, for me, like, I like Christmas. I love the aesthetic of all the lights. Do not get me wrong. I am not being a Scrooge. I hate the soundtrack, mostly because it's the same songs overplayed, and I know Mariah is on the cusp of haunting me. However, I do like Wham's Last Christmas. That's a good song. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm not going to be a negative Nelly about Christmas. I like Christmas overall, though. It's just, again, the capitalism part of it always just rubs me the wrong way. And on top of that, November and December kicks my ass because my family... They're all in November and December for birthdays. <laughs> so now I don't even have to worry about birthdays. So close to Christmas. Christmas is around the corner. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. And, yeah, you know, it's rough. Especially when, like, you know, you live on your own. You pay your own rent. Like, I legit don't have roommates. I don't have a significant other. So, you know, it is rough. It is rough. <laughs> but do what you can, right? That's why I do Twitch streaming, too, and all that, so, you know. And also, starting up this channel, it'd be nice, like, I don't know, maybe next year as maybe a goal, because, you know, it's Christmas comes New Year's, and New Year's comes a resolution. Um, I'm hoping that this channel gets, um, you know what, I'm just gonna be fair. I hope I can get at least over a thousand, or at least a thousand, to, uh, follow. So if you have not, like, followed, subscribed, or whatever, please do so. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for anyways, because then I could actually monetize this channel, which would be awesome. But I, so far though, I have been keeping up with two videos a month, which is kind of like a easy goal for me to keep, because I also have my, uh, other channel, the Edgy Berserker, Edgy Plays channel, in which I am, uh, you know, play fighting games character by character by character. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I know how to play them. I just gotta keep going. <laughs> but yeah, I have that going too. Uh, you know what? I'm happy I finally got the stream archive like updating now. Because I have also a separate one for that. Which I upgraded my front page. So now all that's at the front page. And you just scroll down, I believe. Everything's there if you want to follow the other stuff too. If you're interested. And it's just streams of like my past Twitch streams of long plays. And I'm just finally getting that going. Which I'm very happy about as well. I don't know, I've been, like, uh, working on some goals and that. Uh, I really, like, Twitch has been treating me very well. And more so, uh, YouTube streaming every Wednesday, or most Wednesdays, I should say, have also been wonderful as well. Been treating me really well, honestly. Like, not like, you know, like, I'm not doing, like, ninja levels or PewDiePie levels, but I'm doing slow and steady wins the race levels, and that's all that matters to me. Anyways, we're on to his, like, uh, I guess, golden uh, neck thing. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> but yeah, I was just like, uh, I know I didn't have really, because uh, the original picture was like very more orange with it. So I didn't want to go too brown town with it either. But I did like though, like, uh, you know, adding the sunnier yellow in there because that's kind of like what the reference had. But then, as you'll see, I'm going to add some cross hatching soon for the details in that uh, neck thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I just did some cross hatching just to kind of get, like, the little details where it's, like, kind of, like, um, textured. And I figured that worked great. Like, what in doubt? Do cross hatching. <laughs> Do some cross hatching. 
it's all good. He got it. <laughs> and yeah, it's just like, you know, it's just, again, vibing while working on this. I had a great time working on this. These pencils work like a dream. Uh, they, they work. I, at least I know this image of Karnov's going to last a hundred years uh, uh, in direct sunlight. So thumbs up to that. <laughs> And yeah, I, I don't know. I just, um, it sucks that I just can't get a bigger set, but it's also a godsend at the same time because I have too many pencil crowns, <laughs> which is why I'm doing the pencil crown talk stuff because I, I want to talk about the pencil crowns. The same with watercolor talk because I really feel like I also have to include the watercolor pencils in that for watercolor, not for coloring pencils, funny enough. <laughs> but with that one, I also want to show off some techniques and such. And of course, another hope for this is I, you know, also have the regular series of the three marker challenge because I have a lot of topics. So that would just be a fun one to do. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, what would you all like to see me try out? Because uh, I got to keep in mind, I have to pay for everything myself. So, uh, you know, keep the challenges good. Um, I'm not going to do oil color and that the only reason I've never used it, but that's not the only reason it's because my apartment has bad ventilation I find and I'm not gonna run like fumes and stuff in my apartment because of that. I have two kitties. I can't do that to them. You know, that's the same with, um, resin. I love to do a clay sculpture, but I can't really do dramatic angles because I'm only working from an iPhone here. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe so I can afford myself a new camera. <laughs> Ooh, zoomed in just to get some hot goatee action. Just uh, colored in his little uh, chin strap there. <laughs> Again, these layer wonderfully, I gotta say. They are wonderful pencils. They are wonderful. Of course, now I'm like, on to... But -da -but -da -but -da. Moving stuff around. Oh, I should mention, actually, I did use a burnisher, a uh, pencil crown blender. It is a Prismacolor pencil crown blender because that's the only one I own. Uh, I found that made it easier for me to blend without having to, you know, stubble down my poor pencil crayons. <laughs> so, and I have a lot of those blenders. So that's why if you're wondering why there's a Prismacolor in there, that's actually the blender. should mention that. I forgot to mention that. My bad. Okay, we're on to the background. Um, this I actually kind of got a little sadistic with. It's kind of funny because the amount of layers I added to the background, I wiped out my signature and I had to rewrite it in with the Posca pen. <laughs> oh, Hedgy Berserker. It's what you do. It's what you do, girl. It's what you do. <laughs> it's fine. You got this. But yeah, I'm just going with the background that was also on that uh, intro, which is kind of like a blue flames thing going on. There was really no, like, super strong blue in the set. It was just, like, that light ultramarine that I used a lot of. And then the purple, and that was it. Because, again, this is more portraity that they're aiming for. But I think I coped pretty well with what I had uh, overall. As you can see, I'm just, like, blending the crap out of this. <laughs> I'm glad that I moved where my camera is hooked up. Because otherwise, that camera would be shaking so hard right now. <laughs> like my first video but I realized oh yeah maybe I should set up the camera not directly on the desk I'm drawing on and getting rough with <laughs> that's what edgy does of course that's what edgy do around these parts <laughs> but yeah just blending blending layering blending it's it's good sharpened of course I had the sharpener I got from my one up crate with the watercolor pencils that I did candy man with a plus that is a good sharpener <laughs> Okay, it's got that background happening. It's working great. And of course, we're now gonna ba -ba -ba, cut to Karnov. This is how he looks. I will have obviously high res water, non watermark scans on my Patreon if you're interested. But there he is. And of course, we're gonna also go with a little bit of an aesthetic shot of the pencils. So those were the uh, Derwent Lightfast pencils. They're wonderful. Now let's see what past Edgy Berserker has to say about them as we do this nice aesthetic shot. All right, so in conclusion, Derwent Lightfast, um, sorry about the glare if there is one, uh, is really good pencil crowns. Um, they're smooth, 
Oh, I didn't read a lot about it, but it turns out that they are 100% uh, oil-based colored pencils. So that's kind of why when I colored with these, I'm like, I have the same feeling I have with the polychromos. And I ain't complaining. Um, I, I like these pencil crayons a lot. Um, I used a lot of the skin tone, so that one went down. White went down, but overall they didn't go down as fast as I thought I would because I've used this one, this uh, blue, a lot, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a good it's a good pencil. Expensive unless you live in uh, Great Britain, <laughs> because uh, Derwent is made there, so the prices are way cheaper. Um, but yeah, I gotta say though, the small set uh, does give you what you need. It's a more warmer palette, really, more natural palette. But I guess they're just assuming most people would be doing like portrait art with it, not Karnov fan art. But you know, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> But yeah, I, overall though, I gotta say these are nice and smooth. I like them a lot. Uh, next pencil crayon, next time I do a pencil crayon talk, I've been doing two that I'm very positive of. Let's try something a little negative next time. There's a little history behind it, but we're not, you know, just keep that in the back of your head because it'll be a while before I get to another pencil crayon talk. Cause uh, you know, there's other stuff I gotta cover. But overall though, excellent pencil crayons. Um, again, Everything is done in a uh, fancy switch in the uh, Strathmore colored uh, pencil book for maximum um, making sure that it is on even ground, even for the bad ones. Because sometimes the bad ones might work better on better paper. Sometimes they work better on cheaper paper. Um, yeah, so everyone, thanks so much for watching. Patreon, thanks so much for supporting, and everyone, I hope you have a great day, and stay creative, and happy Carnovember, because, uh, you know, sometimes niche fighting games are something that we gotta delight in somehow. Okay, everyone, I'll see y'all later. Bye now.